Should be getting a signal any time now. It's crossed over into the United States coming off the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to do almost a direct pass over as you can see from here. Over 75 degrees. It's going to be almost overhead. Should be any second now. It should be acquiring the signal. There it goes. There it is. We're right on cue. Still weak. It'll pick up here in a second. There it goes. Getting better. There, it's getting strong now. Look at the probably the picture getting better. Golly, it's getting better and better. Now it's... 30 degrees up. 454 miles away. Not a perfect signal. It'll probably get a better signal as after it goes overhead and gets out over the water. That is usually the case. You see there it's 72 degrees. It'll switch over and start another image here in a second. 78, 80, 80 there's 80 degrees, so it's 90 degrees would be right overhead. Here it went. It was just overhead. It'll reset here in a second and it'll start another. It's reached its peak. Where's it at now? Range is 280 miles. I didn't catch the, I wouldn't catch in the range too many things going on when it passed over directly, so it was pretty close. I'll actually have to go back and look at the video to be able to tell you exactly. Should be starting a second image here anytime. Usually resets and then starts the second image. Usually do have a little bit of a low. I can hear the wobble sound again. And there it goes. It just started another image. See, it's over the water, so this one generally is a better picture. Looks like it's coming in better than the first image. And you see it's 600 miles off of us now. 
elevations down to 20 degrees, so it's, it's getting your way and further down on the horizon. It's over the water. Bit of static. Conditions may not be perfect. Still a pretty cool image coming in now. The little image up there is the actual the spectrum scope of the signal itself. It's over 900 miles out now from here. going out step off Nova Scotia as you can see and headed out to the Atlantic it looks like we're going to get a clean picture that's the end of that image now let's see will we get a third image that's a little bit the research And might have just enough of a pass here to get mm -hmm. part of the third image. It's a good video there to show you what's going on. And my software is doing the Doppler effect, so it's actually controlling my radio. And as you see, it's actually changing the frequency automatically to compensate for the Doppler shift. I'm not having to touch a thing, it's all done with the software. The software is actually controlling the radio at this point. It says the loss of signals less than a minute away. That's, that's usually because of the distance. It's 1,500 miles, something like that. So when they consider where it, it, it gets this, the elevation, is only two degrees, so it's almost at the horizon. But sometimes we can actually pick up a signal after the horizon. So let's see if we pick up a little bit of a signal here. As the computer resets for the next image. I keep doing this all the way around the globe. I think there's 12 pictures that's rotating right now. I'm hoping we'll get just part of a third image with this pass. And you can see the next passes are pretty low passes. So we may or may not get a whole lot from them. We'll still probably capture images, but won't be won't be as many or as probably not as high a quality, we'll say. I also get a better image when it's a southern view, so when it's coming up or going down, especially when it's going down and it's going down off the Gulf into the um, Caribbean, into the Cuba area. Um, usually it's pretty decent. So we're right at the point that the other image should have started. We might not be able to hear it. We might not be picking it up at all. I was hoping we would get just a little bit of the third image when it reset. We might, we might be losing a little over a minute and a half now after what they say is um, loss of signal. And the next one's going to be in an hour and a half. The next pass, it'll be a low pass. Not going to be anywhere near as high. Oh, well, you got about 10 minutes of this one, so you got to see what it was like. I've got software that's actually capturing the sound. I've got software that's actually monitoring the track of the um, ISS, where it's actually at. 
Um, let me put this zoom here so that the zoom is so you can get a better feel for where it's at. It's about halfway across the Atlantic now. We're getting, there. getting close to that point. It's going to be heading up over also Sweden maybe. Good test of geography. I don't think we're going to get the third image. So. Getting to the point where the range is around a little over 2,000 miles um, downrange from us now. Um, ISS is traveling at 4.76 miles a second or about 17,100 miles an hour. It's hauling pretty good. 17,000 miles an hour. And it's just going loopity loopity loop all the way around the globe. And it dissects the globe in all kinds of different directions and angles. I don't think we're going to get that next image. I think we've just about lost their window here of any usefulness. I'll give it just a second, but don't think it's going to be anything of the same as 2300 miles out. It's 10 degrees below the horizon now, so I just say an hour and 23 minutes before the next bath. I won't be up for that one. I'll let the software run and hope that it catches some images. So by the time I get up in the morning, maybe there'll be something here, but it's still picking up a little bit of signal, but it's, it's really weak. I don't think we're getting anything at this point, so. I think, we're, I think we're past the point of getting anything from this one. This shows you what the angle of the next pass will be. I can say it's not very much. It's what, about 10 degrees? 15 degrees. It gets up to about 15 degrees above the horizon. Just above the treetops. Not much, but just above the treetops. So. This is all being caught on a two meter um, loop. A circle is up in the air. It's about a 13 inch diameter loop. It's up about 25 feet maybe in the air. 22 to 25 feet, I, I measured it. But, um, and I might be putting that up a little higher. I might get, I might get up to just over 30 feet here soon, depending on what I think work. I'll probably have to get somebody to help me so that I, the, the pipe won't bend on me when I do it. So, yeah, I think we're pretty well past the point of anything happening at this point. So, that was to give you a good view of it. So, that's a 14 minute video showing you what's going on. Thank you for watching. I'll post some more as I get them. Have a great, have a great new year. Welcome to 2020. This how's that for an introduction to 2020? You got to see the International Space Station sending us images from 260 miles out in orbit doing 17,000 mile an hour and we're able to capture images from it. So cool technology. Have a great one everybody. Later.